Are you the one I've been waiting for? Hi there, today we're starting a new ARK series on the official ARPOC servers. I'm gonna be trying to claim the Karno Cave and hopefully become Alpha of one of the servers. And I'm gonna do it all by myself, solo. So let's see how it goes. I started off by doing a simple note run. I'm sure you guys already seen a lot of that, so I'm just gonna cut through it. But basically I got to up to level 70, I think, which was pretty decent for me at the time. And while I was doing my note run, I stumbled across this starter base. So there was a bunch of resources that I took that was gonna help me start up a bit quicker. Uh, there were a couple of narcotics here, which I could use to tame myself up to Ranadon or something. So I took advantage of that and I was also coming back later to kill that PT and get the saddle off of it. So yeah, here I finished my note run and I crafted a bunch of these cooking pots which actually give you a lot of experience. So it's a good way to finish off your explorer no note run. So yeah, I got to level 70 as you can see and then I went back to kill that PT and try and get the saddle off of it. Like I said before. So I ended up killing the PT. But after that, I actually logged off for the day, I had some job to do. Then the next day, when I logged back in, my character was dead, so I crafted this raft. And I was making my way over to Karno Island, when I stumbled across this raft, which was already raided. But uh, I wanted to jump in and see if there were any leftovers that I could use. And as you're about to see, there were some, so I decided to take whatever I can. There were a bunch of tools, metal tools that I can use, some narcotics, some flak, spyglass, parachutes, pretty much a simple kit that I can use. So I took all of that and I actually also made a smithy which I placed on my raft and I stored all of this stuff on it because it was a lot. You know, it's nothing special but when you're just starting out this will help you out a lot, so yeah. So after I placed my smithy, my plan was to go over to Karno Island and see if the cave was taken and if it wasn't, I was gonna place some sleeping bags and maybe a few foundations, try and claim it myself. Um, yeah, so right here I'm still sorting out all of the loot that I got from this raided raft, I repaired the flak. I made my way to Karno Island and I was very cautious, I didn't see any turrets at the entrance which is usually a good sign in this case uh, but there were some foundations, enemy foundations which wouldn't let me place mine uh, further down into the cave so I knew that there was already someone inside, I just had to check if they're active or not because there were no dinos around so after scouting a bit I went into the cave and I saw that there were actually some structures here, however, there was no one here. They, they either got raided or they never finished claiming the cave. And there were only a bunch of stone foundations and structures which were pretty easy to destroy for me. I just needed to farm a bunch of explosives and that was an easy job. So yeah, my plan for claiming this Karno cave was actually going pretty well. Um, but we'll see in the future if I actually end up claiming it. So my plan was to go and tame a bunch of dinos now. Uh, however, while I was out scouting for some new tames, I actually found this base. The guy had a Terrazino on top of it and a Pteranodon inside. Uh, I already had most of the stuff to make grenades, so I actually went and I did just that. I farmed a bunch of oil some stone and flint for spark powder and I crafted I think six grenades which was enough for me to blow inside the base. So 
So I came back with six grenades to blow into this base and this could potentially give me some resources that I can use again to get a head start. So I blew in But then when I entered, I realized that there was actually some more walls and doors that I need to blow into, which kind of sucks, but I give props to this guy for making it harder for me to raid it. However, just went back and made some more grenades, didn't take me that long at all, and I actually ended up blowing inside of this base pretty easily. I soon realized that this guy actually had another floor on top, but I think that it was only his pteranodon up there, so I didn't think it was worth blowing in. Also, a lot of his loot was already here. He actually had some pretty decent stuff. A pump shotgun, a long neck with some bullets that I can use, a flak set, and yeah, a lot of valuable stuff for early game. So I decided to destroy his bed real quick, uh, so he can't spawn back. And after ages of destroying this bed, it actually took me quite a while, but I managed to do it, and missing a shot on this guy, I couldn't kill him the first time, but uh, I didn't miss my second shot. I started looting around, and he actually was pretty stacked. He had a lot of stuff that I can use and I made sure to loot all of the valuable stuff as you can see right here. So this is all the loot that I got from this raid, it was pretty good, uh, but yeah. 
Then I had a pretty good idea on how to hide my loot since I didn't have a base yet. So I just tamed this parcel real quick and I decided to take it uh, right here next to these rocks and stash all of my loot inside of it and remove its saddle, make it look like it was wild so people wouldn't notice it and I ended up leaving all of my valuable stuff inside of it. Uh, eventually actually someone found it and killed it but uh, yeah I actually ended up losing all of this stuff. However that's not bad because as you're about to see I was going to tame a frog so I can do the swamp cave try to get to level 100 when I saw this guy he was flying on an RG and I actually saw him again just before that so I decided to follow him see if I can see his base and I ended up finding up his base he was right here near the green obelisk and here I saw him uh, putting some stuff inside of his RG and I decided to see if maybe the RG was on neutral if I can pull it out maybe there was some stuff on it you never know uh, and I shot at it and to my surprise the RG was actually on neutral it started following me so I just made a quick trap with some stone structures just a RG trap like the one you make to tame one so yeah I made up one real quick here and I shot the RG again and I lured it to the trap as you're about to see here it didn't go in the first time but it did go in on the second try and I just closed it real quick and I actually started killing this RG which to be honest with you it took me a really long time to kill I maybe shot like 50 arrows on it on its head six and a half hours later yeah here I ended up killing it and as my surprise you can see here there was actually a cryo darji inside which was a higher level there were also some metal structures and some pretty decent stuff actually and actually the RG was exactly what I needed at the moment so I looted everything out of it and I actually used these metal structures that I got to make a quick one by one hidden inside the woods and I was just gonna store all of this stuff inside because uh, I didn't have a base yet so I didn't want to lose this so I pretty much stashed everything here and then I left to uh, try and tame up and we'll see how that goes so I knocked out this level 90 Pteranodon, uh, I killed a bunch of babies on the beach, I got a, some prime meat for it and I ended up taming it. I called it weak because it was pretty weak, it was a low level, uh, 142 as you can see. And I decided to take it out and try to get a bunch of explorer nodes, I found this raided base, there was nothing inside, but I managed to collect a couple of explorer nodes here make sure to level this pteranodon a bit so I can actually fly around on it and try to scout the map see if I can find something else and yeah I think I put about 20 to 30 levels into it in total uh, which made it pretty decent but uh, disaster was just about to happen as I saw this yellow drop with a ring I decided to try and take it and I got arced my pteranodon got meshed and I got meshed myself with it I lost my kit the pteranodon and everything and I was pretty pissed so I decided to end it off for the day